Welcome back to my channel. I am Chai. This episode of the Astronomy Let's Play, I decided to just do a makeover of the three triplets, Helio, Elio, and Pollux, off camera, and I'm going to show you what I did with them, and then I am also going to show you the renovation that I did of each of their rooms. The reason that I made all of these over, I said I wasn't going to do it in the last video, but then I decided that I wanted to because I'm moving Elio into her own room. So if they end up being being separated into the incorrect rooms and I'm gonna know who's there and who's not because they all pretty much had the same hairdo and everything and they look very similar so I wanted to make sure that they were they were separate helio is our blue baby he is calm so far this is his everyday outfit he's got you know blue pants blue sweatshirt with stars and moons on it I mean how fitting for this challenge I mean it's just it's so cute okay and then he just has a normal blue blue shirt, blue slacks for his formal, and he has an adorable onesie that is a long sleeve star one for his sleep. And then he has just a blue and white striped sweatshirt for his party wear with white pants, hot weather. How cute is this otter t-shirt? I mean, really, really? And then these little tiger striped blue tiger striped sneakers with some white shorts and then he has for his winter wear a blue toned sweatshirt with white stripes sweatsuit i think he turned out super cute and i like his hair too his hair used to be like i think it's this one down here but we changed it to this all right let's move on to elio she is the girl of the babies and she is also calm uh this is her pajamas i don't know why they always start the sims in their pajamas but anyway here's her every day how adorable is this the venus generation is going to be white and like a tan color because venus or like a light yellow it just depends like that's why her bow is yellow up there too so those three colors are going to be prominent in her life and in her household it's going to be white tan and a little bit of yellow or pale yellow we have her in this little sun uh, tank top with these plaid shorts and white sneakers. And then for her formal, she has a little pinafore dress. How cute is that? It's absolutely adorable with uh, little white saddle shoes. And then again, there is her, there, I think these are little hedgehogs. The, this is her sleepwear. And then her party wear is just little overalls that are tan and with a white shirt. Her hot weather is the same type of overalls, but with a little puppy dog on the front. And then her cold weather is tan and white sweatsuit, just like Helio, her brother, but Helio's is blue and hers is tan. Pollux, he is uh, a little bit different looking than the other two, especially in the face. I'm gonna give a little close up of these guys here. So if you look at uh, Helio, he has more of a narrow type nose and it's a little more like pushed in. Elio, she has more of a wider nose that's out a little further and her eyes look a little bit bigger too. And then Pollux, he has the same type of nose as his brother, but it looks to me like it's more like a more of a pushed up type nose. They're all adorable. I mean, this family is just too cute. Okay, so he is green. I made him all green. This is his everyday. I'm gonna make him more of like, he's a wiggly sim. So I'm gonna make him more of like the outcast type sim who is, you know, obviously his brother Helio and Elio, they have like interchangeable names. He does not. He's gonna be more of a, maybe that turns out to be the trouble child, I would say, possibly. And also I think I'm gonna have him deal with more like nature related things and he likes to collect frogs and he's really into stuff like that. His outfits are mainly based in the color green. Okay, so his everyday, like I said, is this monster outfit. His formal is the same type of overalls as his sister has, but they are a green version. His sleep is the frog onesie. His party is an, another onesie, but it's green and white with a little white tennis shoes. And then his hot weather is another onesie. He is, he's a onesie child with green and then yellow and like yellow sneakers. And then these look like little plum bobs in there. And then his cold weather wear is a green sweatshirt with khaki pants and green tennis shoes. All right, now that we've checked these guys out, I might show you, here, let me show you since it didn't happen in the other episode. 
this here is from the grunge wear. I said that that uh, Orion and Cassandra had a couple new outfits and they didn't really wear them in the other episode. So here is Orion's other sleepwear outfit. I do believe I changed it. Yeah, I took his college one away. This is his one here that's normal. And then I took his college one away and replaced it with uh, stuff from grunge wear. And I think I might have given him another outfit here. Yeah, this is his other grunge wear outfit from that kit. I really like these shorts. These shorts are awesome. And I like the sweatshirt and the tennis shoes. The tennis shoes are my jam. Those are amazing. And Cassandra, she ended up, I think she only has one, yeah. I only gave her an everyday one. I think I gave her two, yeah. She has these plaid pants with these tennis shoes, this tank top, and her hair is up differently, and then she has that new key earring. And then the other outfit is the same pants, but she added a sweatshirt to it. The same shoes and then new hairdo, which I absolutely love this hairdo. It is so good. And then she has the new necklace and her nails are also painted where the paint is chipped on her nails. You can't forget about Nebula. We have to show Nebula off a little closer too. Some, sometimes you can't see the animals that close. He has green eyes. His traits are clever, skittish, and spoiled. Now we're going to go check out the rooms that we renovated for the triplets. All right, first we're gonna start off in the boys' bedroom. I ended up making this room be kind of like dinosaur themed. So they have this blue wallpaper all the way around with dinosaurs and elephants and rabbits. And then we have a light in between their birth certificates and handprints with a pterodactyl on it. They both have the same stegosaurus crib. And over here, they both have a high chair if they need it a dinosaur picture and then over here is their little dinosaur i can't remember this is like a dinosaur wooden puzzle type thing that goes on the wall i think these are so cool from eco living they have a calendar with a cat on it and then their diaper changing station and then we have in the corner a lava lamp a blue lava lamp with a table here and then obviously on the floor we have the dinosaur rug this is like one of my favorite kids rugs in the game it's adorable i think this turned out really cute i mean there's not a lot to it i mean as they age there will be more personality to this room because they're each going to get their own you know obviously their own traits and personalities but for now we are going to keep it like this probably until um we'll keep the wallpaper and everything until they're children and then once they age into teens, we'll redo their room like completely and they'll just change out their beds and stuff as we go. Here's Elio's room. She has the flower wallpaper. Like I said, we're going to keep her with like a tan and white theme with little bits of yellow. I'm going to say that Sunny gave this to her as a gift when she was born because, you know, sun, moon, you know, has to do with astronomy. So Elio has her own cat calendar over here and she also has a the lighting here is terrible but I only have one light here and one light there. I think it's because of, let me get, let me change this. There. Yeah, at nighttime, it's a little bit better. Plus it's because I'm, I'm like inside of the room here. Okay, so she also has this from the pastel pop kit and her own changing station. And she has her high chair over here that's right in front of the window. So she has a nice view if she wants to turn around and look. She has her own dollhouse and a blarfy. Like, like I said, not too much to the rooms yet. As they age, they will get their own personalities and things change. And then she has a, from the pastel pop kit, a tan and white uh, cow print rug. And I kept the same crib that she currently already had. All right, there you have it. We have the decorated children's rooms. At least now this place looks a little bit more complete than it did. And when we are playing in game, everything will be a lot easier to work with since there is room for everything. Oh, I also put a high chair out here as well. So in case one of the kids were gonna eat at the table. I will be back with the family in the next episode as we will be moving more along in Orion's career and getting the babies some more milestones. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And also subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you won't miss any new content from me in the future. Until next time, have a wonderful day.